Democratic U.S. House candidate Kathleen Williams listened today at a roundtable discussion on wilderness study areas. MTN's Connor McCauley was at the University of Montana for the discussion. Wilderness study areas are a very divisive topic in Montana. There are 44 WSAs in Big Sky Country, and the WSA designation was given in the 70s as a way of protecting these areas from development. Montana congressional candidate Kathleen Williams attempted to start bridging the divide between different groups by hosting a roundtable discussion at the University of Montana Wednesday morning. Wilderness study areas have been a, a topic of public discussion recently. Um, there have not been a lot of opportunities for that I have heard of uh, for people to come and uh, share their perspectives on wilderness study areas. So um, we wanted to provide that opportunity. That opportunity for open dialogue produced a handful of different ideas on how to go forward with WSAs. One of the ideas reiterated by multiple people is that it'll take compromise between all groups involved to achieve the best plan of action. Conservation and recreation and access are, it's not a zero sum conversation and that real landscape protections come at the intersection of more traditional old school conservation as well as recognizing that these landscapes need to be um, sustainable in terms of social and economic needs as well as, as, as base um, ecological needs. Another common theme amongst people in attendance along with panel members is the need for more transparency in the WSA process. As a taxpayer, I'm not really seeing very open and collaborative like transparent, um, I guess, meetings or whatever for this. I want the process to be as transparent as it can be when it comes to our decision making. I, I'm a big fan of the public domain. Overall, Wednesday's roundtable wasn't about finding the right answer to WSAs, but to open a dialogue between the groups who both just want the best path for Montana. William says the open dialogue and discussion is important to the democratic process. Very important. Um, uh, as, as all policymakers should be willing um, to go out and ask people what they feel about certain important issues and, and listen to that. In Missoula, Connor McCauley, MTN News. MTN spoke to panel member Ben Horan after the discussion, and he said while this discussion does not solve the problem, it opens a dialogue between all parties involved and starts to build a level of trust between everyone. He says that there will be key groups, that there will be the key to all groups making the best decision together in the end.